Right, hi everybody. I couldn't find a decent video on YouTube where someone just explained what are the advantages and disadvantages of CAD. So I'm just going to attempt to do it fairly quickly here by showing you. Um, so CAD, if you don't know, stands for Computer Aided Design. And um, it's basically how all modern products are drawn and shared and um, designed, if you like, and developed. Um, it's a modern tool, but I say modern, it's been around probably 20, 30 years uh, if not longer, in older forms. Now, in the old days, uh, before we had computers of decent power, drawings would look something like this. Uh, we produce things called technical drawings. So if you search into um, Google technical drawings, you'll see pages and pages of examples. And you might have heard of these being called blueprints or things like that. And the idea is the designers would draw these and put the sizes and materials and things on them that they want the manufacturers to follow. And then it gets sent to a factory and uh, hopefully someone be able to interpret this and turn it into an actual product and build the thing. Um, but there are problems with this compared to CAD. And that's what we're gonna talk about. So if we look at this model here, uh, this is something uh, me and one of my A-level students made last year. I won't bore you too much with what it is. It's something to do with scuba diving. It's a piece of equipment that inflates like a, a beacon that flows up to the top of the water. Now, the first thing that will strike you in modern CAD, you can build your model and rotate it and look at it really easily from any angle. OK, you can orbit around it. I can zoom in on a part of interest if I want to. Um, I can zoom out. I can look inside it if I wish. So for instance, I could make this panel here not visible. Sorry, oh, there we go. Okay, um, just do that again. There we go, so I could have a look inside at all the detail. Um, what's even cooler, with most CAD packages nowadays, you can simulate movement. So I can test, for instance, that this lever mechanism actually moves and pivots, and I can see how far it would rotate before it was to collide with something and check that everything's gonna fit and work as I expect. Likewise, I can do the same with this mechanism here, which would attach to that string you see and float up to the surface of the water. I can check that it would all fit and align. Um, if you look at a traditional drawing, there's no way you can do any of that stuff. Brilliant timing. There'll be another one of those in like two minutes. Um, in a normal drawing, all you can see is the object from above, from the front. You might see some sections cut out and see what's inside it, but you can nowhere near see the amount of information you can on a CAD drawing. So that's one of your advantages, the ability to see from many angles, different views. Um, it goes beyond that. You can do very cool things like this. And if you stay on to do these courses at Collingwood, we'll teach you all these skills in Inventor, but you can slice your object look like you've cut it in half with a knife and have a look at it from above, which is really cool. So you can see how things fit together. Um, really, really, really powerful. So that's one major advantage. Um, another advantage I said was you can test things virtually. You can see whether they're actually gonna move. Um, you can't do that with a paper drawing. And what's more important is I can change things really, really quickly. I told you there'd be another bell. Um, if I wanted to make a change to a paper drawing, um, in the old days, you'd have to get your rubber out and your, um, get your pen and your pencils and equipment, and you'd probably wreck the drawing trying to fix it, so you'd have to almost get it right first time. Um, and there was no way of easily duplicating it and replacing it. Nowadays, if I make a mistake in CAD, I can change things quite easily. So if I wanted to change this part here and decided that I need the hole in the middle making bigger, I'm not gonna train you how to use the software in this lesson alone, but I can go and do that. I can go and change the size, and I can say, rather than making this hole six and a half millimeters, I want to make it a bit bigger. All right, let's make it eight mil. Okay, finish, bada bing, and you see it update and grow in size, all right? And that can be done for all of the model. Uh, much easier to make changes. That is an absolute advantage. Okay, likewise drawing things is a lot quicker. Um, if on here I wanted to make another hole, if I wanna draw a circle, I literally get the circle tool. And I click and drag and say how big I want it to be, maybe 30, and I've drawn a circle of an exact size with just a few mouse clicks. If you were doing that on paper, you've gotta get a compass out, 
you've got to get a ruler to set your compass to the right gap. You've got to get your pencil, you've got to put it in the compass, you've got to line it up precisely, draw it accurately without slipping. Um, and then if someone changes the size on you, you've got to repeat that all over again. So hopefully you can see how it's much speedier. Might likewise much easier to delete things. If I want to rub that out, I just click it and press delete. It's done, it's gone, okay? So changes and alterations to your ideas are much quicker. This means we can get products to market much faster um, because we can design them quicker. And if we get our product to market first, that means we make a bigger profit uh, because we're the first ones there. It also means if someone, a competitor develops a better product, we can respond quicker and hopefully design our product better, quicker to beat theirs and, and therefore become even more competitive and make more money. That's what it's all about. So um, that is an advantage. Another advantage of CAD is this is on the computer. Um, I can send this instantly to anyone I work with if I needed to. I could send it to my colleague in the office next door. I could, as I did with my student, we could share and work on the work remotely while he's, you know, he could work on it at home, I could work on it at school with him, or we could share design data. But equally, if I wanted this manufactured, I could just email it um, to a manufacturer in a different country if needed, China, wherever, um, and they will get it instantly. In the past, I would have to roll up a blueprint in a tube, post it off, hope it gets there, wait however long it takes to get there, particularly if it's overseas, that could be weeks or months. Um, and then I've got no way of knowing whether they've understood it or not. Okay, so that's also quite powerful. Another benefit of this is we speak different languages in the world. In CAD, you've got a picture, an image um, that you can share. And even if you don't speak the same language, you can understand movement and mechanical things. Um, someone trying to interpret a design drawing, say Chinese person who didn't speak English natively, um, they might not understand the little written details you've put on your paper drawing. All right, They might have to get it translated and something might get lost in translation and your design might get built in the wrong way. Um, so communication, sending your drawings back and forth, sharing them, emailing them, that's something that we couldn't do quickly before we had computer aided design. There are many, many, many other advantages. Um, I would argue you need less people. One person can draw something much quicker than a team of people could have done 40, 50 years ago. Uh, security, right? It's much easier to keep a digital file safe and secret than one on paper. Uh, well, you could argue that might be the other way around now, but um, that's a fact. Much easier to share data, as we talked about. And something I'm not going to get into here, but I'm going to explain you can do. With modern CAD software, if I wanted to, I can test other things. I can actually simulate the strength of these parts. I can put forces on them and the program will show me where they would bend, where they would break. Um, if this was something like an airplane, I can put it in a virtual wind tunnel. This program has a wind tunnel mode and I can see how air would flow around it and whether it is an efficient design. Um, that's really powerful because it lets me test things before I make them. That means I can kind of get rid of all the rubbish ideas in the computer cheaply and then the ideas with the most promise are the ones I can send to be made. In the past, you'd have to get all of your ideas made, even if they were rubbish. And that might mean um, you waste money doing that, okay? Um, I think that'll probably do, because this is only really aimed at year seven, and we're already at eight and a half minutes, but I hope that will give you some advantages of CAD. Um, the last one I'm gonna say is, your next bit of homework is for you to research independently. It's, um, it's advantages and disadvantages of CAM computer-aided manufacture. That means using computers to build things for us. Now, you're doing 3D printing in your project. That's an example of CAM. We use the computer to control the 3D printer and that makes the product. Um, CAD, a final advantage of that is it is really compatible with CAM. As in, if I draw something here, I literally just have to save it as a particular file type put it in the 3D printer software, slice it up, and it's ready to print. If I had this and wanted to 3D print it, it would be near impossible. I would have to program individual lines of code of coordinates for different movements, one by one, into the printer each time I wanted to make it, and it would take a long, long time to translate. Okay, so basically, CAD allows CAM to happen, and that is probably one of the most important advantages overall. You can't have computer-aided manufacture very easily without CAD. So I'm going to shut up now. Uh, let's hope we kept that under 10 minutes. Yep, smashed it, done it, right. Thank you. Rewatch it if you need the advantages. Put them on your homework sheet. And good luck.
cam is down to you.